Hey, welcome hey. to Two Dogs Games Video Log. Uh, I'm Ken Hall, the founder of Two Dogs Games, and I'm with uh, Dave Ramnerain, the uh, our game mechanics designer. And uh, as you may have seen from following our Facebook channel, we've been all over the map lately. We were at uh, GDC, uh, we were at PAX, uh, we've been to Toronto and Calgary Comic Con, uh, and then we're going to be going to Niagara and Montreal Comic Con coming up. So it's a crazy schedule. But the, the awesome thing about this is a chance to meet our fans, engage them, get some really good feedback. Um, and one of the things that, that uh, we've been talking to a lot of fans about, they've been asking us, you know, how do we get more players on screen at a time? And, and uh, Dave, you've been working on some neat mechanics to, uh, to get us there. So what, tell us a bit about it. Sure. I mean, uh, one of the nice things about this particular game is we are really trying to reach out to a lot of different gameplay and gameplay habits and so one of those one of the four uh, main uh, gaming features that we have is of course a boss type fight which many people are uh, who are watching are probably familiar with um, but in our mechanic we have actually a very interesting twist to it in the fact that we really want to encourage teams to work together to coordinate their activities and so forth and I think that the way that we've talked about uh, managing the bosses in this case is really going to work out quite well We've got uh, a main uh, focus, of course, is on the boss, but unlike some other games, ours is in a three-dimensional concept. So we'll actually allow for eight different teams to be engaging at the same time uh, on the boss. So 32, if my math is right. Yep, I think so. <laughs> we'll Characters. check that afterwards. <laughs> uh, Make afterwards. a note in the comments if we're wrong, please. <laughs> um, so, so the nice thing is you have all these different characters are focusing on the boss. And then, of course, we have different types of bosses. So uh, depending on which boss they happen to be playing against, you don't necessarily know what's the ideal uh, way to deal with that boss at, at the very beginning. But then once the players get a chance to actually play against the boss, they see what type of boss they have. Maybe they have a, a boss with a high shield. So therefore, maybe they want some of the lower level uh, people in their group to attack it first or work the shields down. And then maybe they want the big heavy fighters to come in afterwards to pound through the pound through the heavier armor. Or it could be something totally different. It could be a different boss that has um, the, has the heavy armor first and need the heavies to come in first. Uh, so the nice thing is that we've got a variety of different bosses planned out to deal with all the different types of weapons and, and also to respect the different levels of the players. So that no matter what level the player is, all of them will have an opportunity and, and a purpose to deal with this particular boss, at, either at the beginning or at the end. That's part of what the uh, dynamic will be, is to figure out when and where the best place would be in timing for them. Awesome. And, you know, so in addition to catering to the different levels of players, uh, we're also going to be, uh, you know, working on making sure that uh, th there's lots of strategy involved in this. So, I mean, the, these eight squads working around the boss, they're, they're going to try to attract its attention, right. aren't they? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, as, uh, as we've said in some of the other uh, in the vlogs, is, uh, you know, I like that concept of the strategy. And one of the things that we're putting into these bosses is they're going to have an arc. Now, it doesn't mean that they can only fire in this arc, depending on the boss that you get. Maybe they can attack in, in, in different features. Maybe they attack 360, all depending on the weapons and, and the features that we put on the particular boss. Sure. But let's say, for example, the boss that we're talking about now has a particular arc. So as you say, we can have some of the higher level or some of the high aggro, if you want to call it aggro, um, direct the direction of the boss so that people get an opportunity to work on from, from the back. And there could be advantages to that, or that maybe it's mandatory that you can only really defeat the boss from the back. Okay. So, you know, there, there's all these different opportunities to use the team, but more importantly, the team is going to have to com communicate and coordinate their activities, know what each other does and respect what each other does because every level will have, uh, have an important role to play. And if you're not working together and you're just sort of popping in and popping out and taking shots and so forth, you're not going to defeat the boss and you're going to not get the advantages of be defeating the boss. And, and presumably, you know, you're going to have to, to think ahead too because, you know, you hit the boss hard from behind. I imagine he's going to spin around and be looking right <laughs> well, at you. Exactly. And so your buddy in the back better help you out then, right? Or, <laughs> or, or it could be hey, just... Hey, guys, guys, <laughs> guys oh, where'd you all go? <laughs> or it could just be a, it could be a part of the thing that, you know, you come to realize that, you know, certain people are going to be behind there. They're going to be able to do the damage, but they're going to have, you know, this much time to do their damage and then they're going to peter out. And yeah. then the next... Group of people have to be ready have to, to jump, to jump in, in there to, to either redirect the boss or to actually get that damage in where they can. So. And you're saying, you know, as you mentioned, teamwork is going to be a really big part of this, uh, this sequence. So, um, you know, it sounds like we're going to even be able to sort of play our cards on other players' characters and, and pick them up. So we could, you know, if we see somebody getting uh, hammered, we can give them a heal. But at the same point... You know, if we see somebody's got an open shot at the back, we have three or four of us stacking, uh, uh, you know, extra damage 
cards on a character, so he's Absolutely. got a really big punch at that open Absolutely. Spot. And again, it comes down to communication. I mean, that's one of the core pieces of, the, of this particular game, is that communication, working together as a team, is a very big and integral, integral part of our game. So we're going to do that for this piece as well, because that's the advantage that we have, as opposed to having a flat board, having the ability to spin around the... Uh, the boss at any point, see the different players, see what they're doing, see what type of weapons they have. And then, of course, we have the, the cards that we have in front of us that allow us to play it on either our team or play it on other people's uh, characters. So, Perfect. again, if you're in the front and you're keeping the, the boss pointing towards you, if your group is doing that, maybe you have a couple of cards that can help the guys in the back. You spin around the camera, you throw it down on the guys in the back, they get their big hammer in while they can. Again, it, it all depends on the type of awesome. boss, but... You know, it gives you that flexibility. Maybe you prefer being a healer type. Yeah. That's okay. You have your team in there. You, you cast your healing spells on yourselves or on your team that needs to have it. Area of effect, you know, beautiful things. So again, it, yeah. it, it's a wonderful mechanic that allows you to see the whole battlefield at a time and then actually impact and support each other. Not, not just your guys. So teamwork, uh, excitement, uh, strategy, it sounds like this yeah. is going to be a really fun game mode. And, uh, you know, one of the other exciting modes coming up is, is a bit more exploratory. So uh, that'll be exciting. Uh, that'll be the that'll next, next vlog, though. We're, we're, we're not going to tell you about that right now. <laughs> we'll have to, to wait a little bit. But, uh, but no, some really exciting stuff coming, uh, coming out as the game starts to crystallize and take shape. Uh, so keep following us and, uh, and see how it all comes together. All right. Excellent. Take care.